From the earliest days, we already started to produce works of art and exhibitions together without ever being conscious of that. People noticed it before we realized it. And I would say that I was the lost boy who came from abroad, no? and I couldn't speak English, so George took an amazing interest in me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and that was quite amazing. So that's, I, I think we hold on to each other, and we, we are lonely people, so we managed to, to find ourselves very easy. And we weren't particularly interested in being part of the gang at St. Martin's, really. We like to wander the streets of London day, day in and at night and things, and go to strange cafes, remember? Yes. We used to go to Very Hampstead exciting. alone, walk in the whole afternoon. We started to, to have this idea that to make art, you don't need objects. You just make yourself the object, and then you are more complex than uh, another sculpture could be. No? Like a piece of metal can only have a surface, but we can have an inner soul, and that's a much more complex sculpture. The rates I never sighed for, the caution they can keep. There's only one place that I know, and that is where I sleep. Underneath the arch, I dream my dreams away. Underneath the archer, on constant delay. Every night you find me, tired and warm. Happy when the daylight comes creeping, and in the dawn, sleeping when it's raining, and sleeping when We use the record of underneath the arches. I think, first of all, because it was one of the few records we had. We just bought it at a junk shop or so. And also because we felt very close to the ideas in the text. These two tramps trying to be sort of cheerful under very difficult circumstances. Nowhere to sleep, sometimes it's raining. A sort of rough life, but inventing something very good out of that. And I think we identify quite closely with that. We, we did feel in some way lost and homeless. And Underneath the arches. The first time we did it in, in Wilkes Street in the studio, just walking up and down. No? Underneath the arches, I bring my dreams away. First, we only did it for five minutes. And then we realized that we could actually do it much longer. No? to create a, a repetition and to make them transfix the public towards the sculpture. No? They were not able to move, like in a trance. The idea that it went on for the length of a working day um, introduced the notion of the artist as in some way already the, art, the artwork, which is an it's become a com commonplace idea now. The idea of the artist superstar is absolutely commonplace, but it was their, their idea. Of course, since then, numerous people have pinched the idea of painting your face. You know, David Bowie did it in 72, I think, and they first did it in 69.